Okay, we are back playing the Community Collection, which is a collection of community-made Forge maps in Halo Infinite matchmaking, finally. My previous video was on this, go and check that one out if you haven't, and today we're going to be playing a different map. Alright, here we go, we're playing King of the Hill this time, and I don't know this map, I haven't played it yet, this is my first time playing it. I don't know the name, because unfortunately, I wasn't looking at the screen when the game started. There we go. Give me that BR. Oh, this looks like a Halo 2 style map or something. It looks like uh, the, the aesthetic of Sanctuary from Halo 2. I really like it. It feels, it feels like I'm playing an old map for some reason. Even though it's not a remake. <laughs> oh no. Let me up here. Let me grab this. Nice. So far, both of the maps that I've played, they, they play really well. Like, they look like Halo maps, they play like Halo maps. No performance issues either. I think um, if the community likes these, they should stay in. They should be added to other modes as well, rather than just being in the community um, playlist. Just add these into the other things, like Team Snipers, SWAT, Slayer, Objective, Fiesta, add them into all those playlists when you can. I'm sure that the community will have, like, a resounding acceptance of these maps. I don't think anyone dislikes them, really. Obviously, there's some people that might not like the aesthetic and things like that, personal preferences, but in terms of how the maps play on a Halo game, I, mean, I think we can all agree that... Oh, there we go. <laughs> Let me get that kill as well. No. <laughs> uh Nice double kill. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Oh. Okay, I feel like this area we don't be used too much. Look, it can be a bit big. Oh, this is a weird... Nice. That's pretty cool, though. You know what? I'll take it. I stayed alive for probably four or five kills there. Oh, Spanker. I barely even know her. So that's why you go underground. Okay, to get this. I, I see it, I see it. Nice, nice, nice. Let me reload one of these left. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, 16 and 6. Oh, Mangler's on this map. Mangler, I barely even know her. All that for a trade. <laughs> There we go. Ooh, ooh. Let me get this. Don't tell me at this spot now. There we go. There we go. Grenade that. Grenade that. Swap over to this. There we go. Now it's your turn. Bada bing, bada boom. Give me a reload on this. I want the active camo. Swap it out. Hide. Grab this. Hello. Terrible. We won anyway. <laughs> Let's go. I like the map. The, the fusion powers behave very weirdly in infinite. Like they, they, their hit collider for the fusion collar is massive. It's like double the object size. But aside from that, which is of no, it's not the the, the forge's fault. It's pretty fun. I like it so far. Two for two. Really enjoying these maps. Let's hope I can play another one. All right, here we go. Another new map. Capture the flag. 
Yep. Bloop. Oh, this is like midship. This is the... Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'll take this. Thank you very much. Easy flag. I like these, what I would call remixes of maps. It's what Halo 5 did. Um, Halo 5 took midship and flipped it upside down and turned that into a map called Regret. And that was really cool. Rather than just doing one-to-one -one remakes, like take the art style of Infinite and create something a little bit to scale, stuff like that. I really like that. We've got a new theme going on, new type of art being used, new aesthetic. But you know the map because you've played it several times in previous Halo games. Base right now. Let's grenade this. There we go. Grab this. I'll have the sword as well. There we go. They need to upgrade this thing. <laughs> the shield is so useless. Squish. I've got the flag halfway. Done my objective work. And my enemies are all dying. It's a win. It's a me. Bloom. Spectacular. Victory. Royale. <laughs> okay. I mean, yeah, that again two more maps they really play well i've already um done the damnation remake um in custom games had a chance to look at that um before it released into matchmaking so from what i can see the the four maps here all play really well i think this is a step in the right direction for halo and 343 it's good that they did this keep them going uh if we could do something like this maybe once a month um you know four maps uh, once a month averages out to one new map per week and that's a really good amount of content to keep people coming back and, and trying the game every month so hopefully more of this going forward